I'm Klaus Mackel, I'm a Finnish conductor and I come from a musical family which means that the first memories of life were all from music. And I started playing the cello. My dad's a cellist, my uncle's a cellist, so that was sort of example from, from them. But, but conducting struck, uh, struck me when I was seven in the first grade of school and I was singing in the children's choir of the Finnish National Opera. From, from that moment onwards we were on stage and we were following the conductor. I, I wanted to do the, absolutely wanted to do the same. And, I don't know what it was about it. Maybe it was the, the power of the great music and the intensity which somehow was then centered around the conductor. I don't know what it was, but from that point on, I really want to do it for work. I think conducting is quite a lot about trust, or actually all about trust. If you give your trust to the musicians, you can expect some trust back. And I think that has to also, um, you have to see that through the conducting, that you give them space. I think surprisingly few things are about hands and this kind of gestures which people think is mostly conducting. I think it's very much about your presence and even your eyes and a certain look and something like this. And, and that's also something which I enjoy, you know, having eye contact with musicians and, and, and orchestras which, which, you know, give this sort of very communicative feel to the music making. I love to commit, you know, to orchestras and being chief conductor, you know, feels like, you know, it feels like sharing a family and it's, it's something very, very special because it has this personal and of course, most important, artistical side. Um, and they merge in such a beautiful union and I care very much for every player, also personally. And, and that's, you know, that, that really feels special to, you know, be playing together and, you know, developing together and going in a certain direction and, you know, trying to achieve a certain aim. I don't think one can separate personality from, from making music or from the act of, of making music. I think everybody has to be in the moment of making music as, as they are off stage. And that is the power of, 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 of this sort of music making, that it brings out who we really are and nothing fake or nothing artificial. I mean, for me, the, the best thing is to be open, open to the orchestra. Because the more honest and open and sincere you are, the more of that you can expect back uh, from them. And I think music making is, is a lot about just you know, feeling feeling connected at, at the level where it somehow feels very genuine and, and, and really, really sincere. And, and the most sensitive and the most beautiful moments in concerts happen in those moments where everybody is so open to the opportunity to connect in a way that it's very, very special. The timing of my start with the Oslo Philharmonic as chief conductor was, of course, a little bit unfortunate because it was exactly when we had this COVID at its peak, so to say. Um, but we still managed, thanks Thanks to the Norwegian rules, we managed to actually start the season still playing a full Mahler symphony. Not for many people, but still everybody needed on stage. And that was something very, very special. Of course, then it took a very sudden turn. There was a very strict lockdown again uh, in the spring of 2021 in, in Oslo, Norway. And, and that was our opportunity to actually work more intensely together than we even thought originally. We started recording the, the Sibelius cycle, complete cycle of Sibelius seven symphonies for Dekkan. And of course that meant that that we were, of course, even more personally important to each other because that was a big part of our social contacts for, for those months. What I love about this job is, is the different people you work with. And, and, of course, every orchestra feels like it's a different character, but it also consists of so many different characters. And um, Both the Oslo Philharmonic and Orchestra Party, which I'm honored to be chief conductor with both, is, is I mean, there are orchestras which have these wonderful characters and personalities, but they merge beautifully together. And, and these two orchestras, they've both been able to have this identity and sonority, which is very theirs. I think this hall is, is a very special hall, very special acoustic, and it brings out really the best of, of the orchestras playing here. You have to be very careful because it's a, it's a hall which it's, it gives a lot of transparency. Uh, it's in a very good way, very selective, which means that you have to really be able to blend very, very well and give the sonority. And then if you play really your utmost, the best, it will maximize that impact.